get you might want to put in a resonance aerial here or okay. actually uh, how did you do this? You move this over, maybe you skip the step. Looks like you actually skip the step of the mechanism. You didn't actually draw the carbocation intermediate. resonance arrow between these two to show that that was the resonance step. All right, and you showed correctly that this was the 1, 2 product and this is the 1, 4 product. Now, originally, why did you have this double bond attack and not this one? Well, that was the right decision because by using this double bond to attack, you were able to form a tertiary carbocation. Whereas if we had used this double bond to attack, that would not have formed the tertiary carbocation. So it was better to use this double bond to attack. That was a good thing to notice. Uh, you always, if there's more than one double bond, you want to use the one that's going to give you the more stabilized carbocation. Now, we haven't quite answered the question. The question was to identify which of those two is the this kinetic is product. The OK. This is the thermal dynamic. How do we know? Well, we kind of cut corners here and just memorized that. We didn't go through a full uh, explanation. Hopefully, he won't go into the full reaction coordinate explanation. We just memorized that this was kinetic and this was thermodynamic. Well, actually, in a way, we did learn that. We said this is faster because it's got the more stabilized carbocation resonance form. However, thermodynamic, remember, means the more stable product. Why is this product more stable than this one? Well, this double bond is tri-substituted, tri one, two, three. This double bond is tri-substituted, and this double bond in this product is only di-substituted. So we actually did explain why this is the thermodynamic product. Thermodynamic means more stable product. Thermodynamically favored means it gives the more stable product, the more substituted alkene. Kinetically favored means it goes faster because it's using the more stabilized resonance structure. So we kind of did explain that. Now, one thing the question didn't ask you, but that you might be asked is, which of these would we get at high temperature? At high temperature, which of these two products would we get? Both. Well, which would be the major product? One, four. Yeah. In fact, if you raise the temperature high enough, maybe you won't get appreciable amounts of this. Maybe you'll get to a point where you're mainly just getting this down here. So we also, we basically did just memorize high temperature well, high temperature makes everything so fast that it doesn't really matter that the kinetically favored is faster. What matters at a high temperature is which is giving the more stable product. So at high temperature, this would be the major product. So at low temperature, this would be the major product. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.